What's up guys, my name is Jake. Does anyone remember the park I talked about almost four years ago now? It was actually at one time the world's largest theme park in of all places, Aurora, Ohio. It was one centered around a main lake with a long and tedious history of new owners being split up and becoming an iconic amusement park. But what has happened since my video? Did the plans to redevelop come to fruition? And what has happened to the adjacent operating water park, formerly SeaWorld Ohio? Well, let's find out in this 2020 update of Geauga Lake. So back in 2016, we left off with the Geauga Lake main theme park completely demolished. Much of the foundations remained, but mostly all the structures had been taken out. All except for the main entrance, some small service buildings, and most notably, the Big Dipper roller coaster. That historic coaster was attempted to be sold by the park's owner, Cedar Fair, by, for some reason, putting it up on eBay? Yeah, I don't know, it was 2010. The coaster had a bid price of just $9,500, but also came with a much greater financial task of relocating an entire aging wooden roller coaster. Not a single bid was made on it, and the coaster sat abandoned on the property, again, being the only standing structure within the apocalyptic theme park. By October of 2016, however, Cedar Fair decided they would just rather get rid of the decaying roller coaster, since at this point it was likely beyond repair. And after much protest, the Big Dipper roller coaster was completely demolished, along with some other standing structures shortly after. The Geauga Lake theme park was now nothing more than a wasteland of pathways and foundations from the past. By 2013, Cedar Fair had begun splitting up their land and offering it for sale. Meyer, a local yet massive superstore chain, announced they would be building a 200,000 square foot superstore on one of the parcels, with an opening date of around 2018. The vast amounts of abandoned land had been for a while under the interest of many third parties, and Meyer was finally the company to take the first real bite. The company had signed an agreement for a little over 40 acres of land with a purchase price of around $14 million. During this agreement though, the city had accused Cedar Fair of illegally logging on their land, of all things, and the Meyer chain had dropped out, citing the land in a not suitable state for construction. However, the Meyer store wasn't the only life being brought back to the property. Remember, the Geauga Lake Amusement Park was one of two theme parks on the property. Across the lake was SeaWorld Ohio. When Six Flags took it over in 2001, they changed the name of the park and combined the former SeaWorld with the amusement park by a long bridge. Cedar Fair ended up purchasing the entire 700-acre property and made some huge changes to the park's operation. They kept the Geauga Lake Amusement Park essentially as it was, but turned the aquatic sea life theme park into a water park. Still connected by a long bridge, Cedar Fair turned the former SeaWorld Ohio into Wild Water Kingdom, a fully established water park by 2005. So fast forward a bit, Cedar Fair had ultimately made the business decision to close the Geauga Lake theme park and keep the Wild Water Kingdom park open. This is what Cedar Fair had to say. Uh, basically, our board of directors uh, made the decision yesterday afternoon uh, that the market demand simply isn't there to support the park as it's currently structured. Um, the decision was made to operate the park exclusively as a water park only. So as Geauga Lake was stripped of all of its assets and the rest left abandoned, across the lake, the water park kept open, operating seasonally. Now, in Cedar Fair's defense, their decision was a bit understandable on why Geauga Lake needed to close, since Aurora, Ohio is relatively small, and while it is located rather close to Cleveland and Akron, Ohio, having one of the largest theme parks in the world there, well, it obviously wasn't working. However, Cedar Fair opted to leave half of their property abandoned while assuring the community that the water park had a good future ahead of it. The announcement was posted online Friday by the parent company Cedar Fair Entertainment, simply saying 2016 would be the last season for the park, which sits on land in both Bainbridge Township and the city of Aurora. In late 2016, Cedar Fair had announced Wild Water Kingdom would not return for the 2017 season. The company had effectively closed the book on the Geauga Lake theme parks. Attendance to the water park had been declining due to reasons I mentioned earlier, and it's most likely because of that that Cedar Fair had decided to close it permanently. Wild Water Kingdom officially closed on September 5th, 2016. 
Despite the city's efforts to swiftly find a redevelopment solution to avoid another Geauga Lake situation, unfortunately that didn't happen. The park was immediately left abandoned, just like good old times, and Cedar Fair had almost identically done what they did before and demolished some of the large structures on the property and left the rest abandoned. A graveyard of foundations, service buildings, and broken promises. Today, honestly, it's actually quite insane of how this all played out. Both parks on the shores of Geauga Lake now sit completely abandoned, stripped of any huge landmarks, yet still unmistakably relics of their past selves. Wildwater currently has the most standing structures out of the two, with many of its exhibits, pools, and back-of-house facilities still standing there abandoned, slowly being taken back by nature. The difference from when the water park was open to now, even at the front entrance, is, well, depressing. The determination of what to do with the vast amounts of abandoned, decaying, Cedar Fair-owned land is really still up in the air. Since the water park closed, two major proposals have been announced. One is from the Polt Group, who wants to build out a 247-acre development comprised of mostly residential, single-family homes, and some commercial and parkland. This plan would really only take the place of the Wild Water Kingdom's parking lots and still leave the two abandoned parks as they are. The more ambitious proposal is from the Industrial Commercial Properties LLC, <laughs> like that doesn't sound sketchy, who wants to build a 332-acre development directly on top of Geauga Lake and half of Wild Water Kingdom. The parking lot of Geauga Lake would be home to Big Box Retail, and the former amusement park would be comprised of residential. The rest would be zoned for commercial use. However, this proposal was recently rejected by the city. So really, who knows what's going to happen. As of early 2020, now both parks are completely abandoned. Somehow in an even worse state than when I last talked about it in 2016. Along Aurora Road is a 3,000 foot long fence that divides the clearly abandoned property to the rest of the small town. While some of the Cedar Fair land was developed by a Ford dealership, it was essentially only a little bit of forest. Nothing else has been done to the property but have Cedar Fair just give up. The city has erected a small historical plaque reminding citizens of the massive abandoned property just behind the fence, but that's really it. Geauga Lake had an incredible rise in the early years, becoming a staple of American theme park history. It was at one time the world's largest theme park and put Aurora on the map. But now, after low attendance and hard financial times, and the carelessness of its owners, both parks met a sad and tragic fate. And now, after many failed developments, hopefully something respecting the past will come. However, if it plays any more in their past luck, it's looking rather unlikely. Anyway guys, thanks for joining me on looking at what has happened to Geauga Lake. More videos are coming very soon. My name is Jake, and thank you very much for watching.